So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to the link which I'll leave down below in the description. You want to scroll down, and then you want to download the URL file for your architecture. So you've got two right here, you have 32-bit and 64-bit. To know which one that you need, you want to head over to search and type in system information. Click on it. And then next to system type, you'll see if you're on 32-bit or 64-bit. So if me, I'm on 64-bit, so I'm going to get the second one right here. I'm going to download this. So now once it's been downloaded, it's going to come in a zip file. So you need to right click and hold the zip file and then you want to drag it and then drop it. And then these options are going to come up. You want to click on extract. Uncheck this and then click on extract again. And now you're going to have it right here. You want to double click on this. You want to find the DRL file and you want to copy it. So right click and then click on copy. And then you want to click on this PC. And you want to find the drive we have Windows installed on. It's probably going to be your C drive. Then you want to click on Windows and scroll down and then click on System32. Then you want to paste the DL file into this folder. So right click and then click on Paste. For me, it says to replace because I already have it in this folder, but in your case, you're not going to have it. So it will just let you place it. Now, for the next step, you want to head over to Search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator and then click on Yes. Now, once you run this, you want to type in chkdsk space c colon space full slash f space full slash r and then click on enter. Then you want to run the scan, but if the scan is not running, then you want to type in y and then click on enter. Now, when the system restarts, then it will run the scan, but don't restart it yet. Now, we're going to type in sfc space full slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run the scan. Now, once the scan has been completed, you want to restart your computer and then the other scan is going to run automatically and then the problem should be fixed.